guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up a box of jewelry that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com. So let's dive right in. So if this is your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is Girlio. And I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Etsy, and I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com, and we can work something out. Guys, I thought I'd share with you a few items I purchased recently from a fellow YouTuber, and they're actually a couple named Marilyn and Barry. And... Here are the pieces I purchased. I just want to share with you the lovely packaging that the jewelry came in. Look at these little burlap bags, so cute. And then the little bow here, I love it. Thank you, Marilyn. Um, so let me just show you their card. Um, their channel is called Shady NY, S-H-A-D-Y N-Y. And here's Marilyn's card. She has a store called The Vintage Mouse. And here are all of their links. And I'll also link their channel down below to, so you can check it out. But uh, yeah, so I'll just show you what I purchased from them. Um, oh, so actually this is the freebie that Marilyn threw in. Very lovely New York and company earrings. Really pretty sparkly things. I love these earrings, really beautiful. And what I purchased from them, let's see. And she gives really great prices, as Marilyn is so knowledgeable. I wish I was that knowledgeable. Hopefully one day I can be. But I'm learning so much from her, and their channel is just so great. And they've reached 500 subscribers, and um, they're growing at an exponential rate. So this is a beautiful starburst pin. And I love it. I just love this atomic mid-century jewelry. So beautiful. So I got this teeny tiny pin, which I love. So that's one thing. And then what else did I get? I got two little earrings and they're sterling silver, but they have this beautiful etching on them. And they're very lightweight and they're just so pretty. And Marilyn gives out really great prices on the jewelry. So you should definitely check their channel out. And in this last piece was a shell necklace I purchased. And let's see. Can't wait to show you. It's really purple shell. I just love the color on this guy. And I really like the combination of purple and brass, especially like this gold antique brass. I just love that. And this has such a great feel to it. It's really beautiful. So yeah, so these were all my little purchases from Shady and Y, and I'll leave their links down below. Um, definitely check them out, guys. Their channel is amazing, and you won't regret subscribing. So if you're interested in purchasing anything, all you have to do is email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. Send me your username, your YouTube username, because now I'll be verifying whether or not you are a subscriber or not, because the prices I will be offering in these videos are for subscribers only, because they're very deeply discounted. And all you have to do is send me your YouTube username, your email address that you use for PayPal, and your shipping address. And shipping starts at $5 for everything under a pound. And if you go over a pound, it's based on your location and the weight. Um, so this first item here is something from Guess. So this is really nice. Um, original price, $9.99, and this was sold at Ross. Okay, really cute. Um, this is a bracelet, and uh, thankfully they have given us a measurement here. So the measurement here is 7.5 inches. It comes with a pair of cubic zirconian earrings. 
I will offer this for six dollars if anyone's interested. Okay, so we have that. Okay, next we have something in a Monet box, and Monet's been around since 1929, and this is their new logo. So all of the new jewelry that coming out of Monet has this logo, and yeah. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. Really nice box. Oh, beautiful. We have a little elephant here. And I don't know if this is glass or jade. That's really pretty. And let's take him out. Let's see. And is this pin work? Yes, the pin is nice and tight, and all of the rhinestones are there. You can see this guy up close. Really cute guy. Gorgeous. So we have that. Okay. Okay, next we have something in a baggie, and oh, it's two things. So it's a set by Napier, really nice. So we have this bracelet, and it was originally $42, marked down to $20.99, but it is gold tone, and then we have a plastic circle here, and then this looks like shell, possibly. Really nice. Nice bangle. I mean, nice bracelet. Nice bracelet. So let's get a measurement on this guy. This measures about, I'm going to say, seven and a half inches. Really nice. And then we have these matching earrings with these really pretty plastic, oh, these are plastic discs. So we have that. Really lovely set. And this was marked down to $10.99. Very nice set. Okay, next we have this beautiful white necklace. And these are cold to the touch and they're glass beads. All these are glass, silver tone, and this is by Chico's. Really beautiful, long Chico's necklace. And let's get a measurement on this guy, really long one. So this measures, it's a 17 inch drop, so it's going to be 34 inches around the neck with an extender of about three inches. So this is a long guy, and I think it definitely can be doubled up as well. So that's really nice, really pretty. Glass beads on this, really nice. So we have this. Okay, next we have a cuff. And this is by Chico's as well. There's the cartouche. And this is really pretty. It has enamel, black enamel. And then it has some etching. Really pretty different patterns on here. And it looks to be silver tone, kind of like a pewter metal here. That's nice, cuff bracelet. Let's take a measurement on this. So this measures about two and a half inches with a, a circumference of seven inches. Really pretty Chico's cuff. Really nice. I like that a lot. And it can be adjusted slightly to be smaller or larger. There's definitely some room for movement there. Beautiful. Okay. 
Next we have some rings. And okay, this is really pretty. And this is one of the reasons why I bought this box, because I saw this ring. And it's not my style, and it's definitely a cocktail ring of sorts. But it's gorgeous. It's this giant purple ring. And it's got these light purple rhinestones all around. Definitely a stunner. Really fun cocktail ring. I'm pretty sure all of these stones are glass. But you never know, so we should all test. But let me get a measurement for this guy. This guy measures, let's see. This guy measures about seven and three quarters. Really nice gold tone ring. My magnet is, but I'm pretty sure this is not gold. And this is definitely glass. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, these are definitely glass. So that's a really pretty fun ring. Seven and three quarters. We have that. Okay, next we have this beautiful, I think this is called an inlay, like a turquoise inlay. Really pretty ring. And this one is not marked. That's really nice. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at I think nine and a quarter. That's a bigger one. But that's really nice. And I don't think this is sterling, but let's test it out to see if it is. Okay, let's see if this is sterling. I don't know where my magnet is, but let's try and test this and see if this is sterling. It is not. I use the 18K solution, just like Kristen D says to you, and it just ate up the silver line. If it's positive for sterling, the line should turn bright blue, and it's not. So this is not sterling, but it's a beautiful ring, nonetheless. Really pretty. Okay, next we have another ring, and this one's gorgeous, another purple ring. And this one is marked, this one is marked 925. And if you could see that, right there's the stamp. No other marking on it, but this is the back of it. And this is the side, very beautiful etchings on here. Beautiful design, gorgeous ring. And this fits me, that's amazing. Okay, that is amazing, this fits me. Um, that's pretty. Let's take a measurement on this guy. Let's see if this is a five. No, it's actually a six. So I think it is going to be a little big for me. That's a really beautiful ring. Okay, so let's test this one. Let me see, the line turned bright blue. You see that? That is definitely sterling. You can see that. Okay. So we have that. 
Very nice. Sterling ring. And I'm not sure if this is amethyst, but let's see if it could possibly be. Okay. And if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. So I don't know. This is just cut glass. I usually put it on the lowest setting when the stone is this large. I mean on a low setting, so number two or number three, if the stone is this large. And see it's moving. I think this is amethyst. You see that? It is moving. If it doesn't move, then it's glass. Yeah, I definitely think this is amethyst. That is a beautiful ring. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. So let's move on. Next we have this really beautiful necklace. And I feel like I've gotten one of these before. This is my third one, I think. Um, I think this is my second one that has the wooden beads like this. And it has a lobster clasp. These are wooden beads and these are plastic and these are plastic as well. And then we have some metal uh, findings here. And this is acrylic or some type of plastic. Yeah, and these are all plastic, but very pretty. It's a nice tribal look to it. Pretty colors. And I still have the other one from my other Goodwill shop goodwill haul if anyone's interested in that one please let me know that one's still available um this one's really nice i love the colors the red and the blue and the brown really pretty okay so this one measures let's give you a measurement on this guy this one measures 20 inches around the neck really lovely necklace Okay, next we have here, I feel like I have this necklace too. I think this is a Leah Sophia. No, it's Chico's. Okay, so we have a Chico's here. And this is really pretty. It looks like a leaf. Gold tone, sort of a brushed gold. It has these little rhinestones, which are all there. You can see, really pretty leaf. These little holes in them. Really lovely and sparkly. And it's on this waxed cord. And let's get a measurement on this. This one measures 16 inches around the neck with an extender of three inches. And it's got two strands here, one thinner, one a little wider. Really pretty. Be choker length or collarbone length for some. Really lovely statement. Necklace. Lovely. It's the back and it's the Chico's cartouche. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, this is not a bad lot. Um, yeah, I bought this lot a while back, so I haven't been able to find lots like this in a while, but um, I'm really happy I got these when I did. So these are really pretty, really statement earrings, and these are acrylic, and they have marble here. They all look sort of marbleized, these little acrylic pieces. I don't know if this looks like shell almost, this one. But, yeah, this looks like mother of pearl almost, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's plastic. And these are gorgeous, and they're by Bobble Bar, and they were $44. Really lovely earrings. I love the colors on this. They've got brown, yellow, pink, and gray, and they're gold tone, and they're for pierced ears. They measure four inches down. Really beautiful bubble bar earrings. I love these guys. This 
this is really beautiful. This is by Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret made a lot of jewelry, and I did not know that. Did you guys know? This is really pretty. It has like a, it looks like a handcuff bracelet here. This gold tone has a nice weight to it. Um, and it has this little chain that holds them together. Really pretty and nice and shiny. And, um, and I guess you could wear it like this too <laughs> if you want. But um, really pretty. Um, so let's take a measurement on this guy. So this measures two and a half inches with a circumference of seven and a half. A really lovely Victoria's Secret bangles. Really nice. I like this. Okay. And then next we have this really, really pretty Vince Camuto. So this is a Vince Camuto. Looks like a pen or bullet. Um, it's on this really long gold tone slinky chain. And here's the tag Vince Camuto. And so it's just this really long chain. There's the top of it. And then it goes down to the silver bullet. So let's take a measurement on this guy. This measures 30 inches around the neck with an extender of two inches. It's really nice, nice and shiny. Okay, so we have that. Wow, this is lovely. Okay, what is this? Wow, this is stunning. Um, it is hmm. can this be quartz? Yeah, maybe it is. It's really clear. Maybe it is quartz. But this is gorgeous. Look at that. It's stunning. And so let's get a measurement on this guy. This measures about, let's see, 16 inches around the neck with an extender of about three inches. And this does not have a mark. I'm so surprised. It's really nice, guys. This is a really lovely one. So we have that. Okay, we have a few more items to go. And then I think we will be done. Okay, next we have this really pretty coin necklace. And this one has a clasp. And there is no mark on it. it just has a lobster clasp here. There's no mark on it. It's a really nice quality gold chain. And then on the bottom here, we have these three coins and they look like Greek gods. Really nice. Um, it's a really nice chain. Really nice medallions here, coins. So let's take a measurement on this. This one measures 16 inch drop, so that's 32 inches around the neck. And so I think a really tiny neck, you can double it up and wear it as a choker. It's really lovely. Really nice piece. Nice weight to it. Lovely. We have that. 
And then we have some things in a little baggie. And this is a charm bracelet. Let's see what kind of charms we have on here. So we have all sorts of charms. Um, let's zoom in and see what we have. So we have here, it says Tennessee. Smoky Mountain, Chattanooga, South Memphis. Really cool. It's a cute charm. Then we have here Kansas. Cool. Then we have here Florida and Baltimore, Maryland. Georgia. This one's Pennsylvania. And this one says Niagara Falls, Canada. Okay, here we have Nevada, and then Wyoming. So I've been to some of these states, so I think this person collected charms to the states they've been to. Charm bracelet. We have that. Okay, next we have one more bag of goodies. And wow, these are Kate Spades. Wow, and they're pretty. Look how pretty these guys are. And they're sparkly, and they look like little crystals. Can you see that? And they're very sparkly. It's too bright again. So it's Kate Spade on card, and they are really pretty clear crystals in this cluster. Gorgeous, sparkly beauties, beauties. And these are, they're called flying colors, which I can see why, because you can see all the beautiful sparkles and AB colors. And these were originally 58 bucks. Wow. These are gorgeous. So we have these guys, these stunning beauties. Okay, next we have some Brighton earrings, and these are really pretty. These are little teeny tiny hoops with these hearts, which have little rhinestones in them. These are nice everyday earrings. These are originally $48 Stella Hut earrings. Really pretty Brighton earrings. Love those. I okay, love that there are new on card things here. And then last we have Chico's. And these are pretty shell earrings. Really lovely shell earrings. Nice dangly ones. And these measure, let's see, four inches. These are shoulder dusters for sure. Really pretty. Okay guys, so that was my haul from shopgoodwill.com. So if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlyrocks at gmail.com and let me know what you'd like. Um, also, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this box, if there were any favorite pieces that you liked. Um, for me, I think it's definitely this amethyst ring, which I believe to be amethyst. And also, I like the Kate Spade earrings, um, this Victoria's Secret bangle, which is fun. And, um, yeah, there were just so many nice costume pieces here. We didn't get a lot of sterling. More costume pieces in this box, but everything seems to be in really good condition. And... I think I'm really pleased with this one. Guys, please like, comment, subscribe. And remember, in order to order for me, you have to be a subscriber. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And most of all, guys, be well.